Hello and welcome along to episode 90 of the Don McKellar sponsored A View from Section C. Senior, 10 more to go. 10 more to go, Junior. 10 more to go. <laughs> wow. What a, oh. what a thunker, eh? What a thunker. Imagine us two sitting here boiling bash for 100 episodes and people still listen to her. Well, I'm thinking, why, why the thunk that I managed to put up here for 90 episodes? And your technical issues and your own professionalism and junior yeah. ever, ever to look after you for 33 years eh? <laughs> think about oh, it <laughs> no 33 you gotta remember Sharon has took a lot of those years recently <laughs> uh, but senior welcome back again this week uh, you got yeah. to a game I got to a game. Uh, Good. Yeah. That was, uh, that wasn't the very, it wasn't, wasn't the comfiest I've ever been at a game, put it that way. <laughs> uh, I was just, came out, I was just, I was lucky, to be honest with you, because I don't care what it's going to be like this weekend. But I was lucky that the seat next to us, to the right hand side, or the, or the operated leg, there was nobody in it, and there was nobody in front of us. So I was able to sit either with a leg at the side or I was able, I think missed the game. I sat with my leg across the chair in front of us. I said to Shan, yeah. you probably do that. <laughs> yeah, so I would I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna shout out to either Julie Ringsell or Bob Walker and ask them not to turn up this weekend so I can get my leg out again. If you could do that, I would really appreciate it. So thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got a, <clears throat> I've got a call out. Oh, to start love an early call. Love an early yeah. call. Um, and it's for a a, a regular call out <gasps> of oh. Mama Betty. Oh, no, I can You can't call her out straight away. Well, I can and I will. So, okay. Mama Betty, um, you know what? I'm I'm actually, and I'm going to say it, senior. I'm no angry with her. I'm very disappointed. Oh, in very the way, disappointed. The way in which she spoke. To the mayoress, hockey grant. Uh -huh. She was gave this hockey grant. Wasn't there? Yes, yep. It was the Thursday yeah. night game, and she gave hockey grant a bit of lip. No, because hockey grant wanted a donut, and Liz, if come all the way up here, then to go back. Had to go up. Wow. You know what I mean? That one hundred and fifty-five-year-old wow. woman. And she's yeah. going to go at her like that. I know. Terrible. And then the worst bit was, Hockey Grand says, get young Laurie one if there's enough money. And she said, fuck <laughs> off. It's just like Hockey Grand, is it? Oh, by the way, you since you're going, get up the yep. L stuff as well now. Yeah. And did she? Did she fuck? So, oh. Mama Betty's on the first call out of the show. But yeah, there is a sure. massive, massive shout out though. For this week's show, senior, uh -huh. Auntie Berta, Auntie Berta comes through with the Marangs. She did. She did. But also, Caramel Shorty. She she remembers my exactly. favourite. She remembered yeah. my favourite. Oh, yeah. I was. <laughs> get what? I can't mind. When, when did I get the box? How did the box? How did I get the box again? I dropped them off on the That's way to. Wherever you were going. Uh, well, I can't remember where I was going. Uh, Fife. Uh, mm. Yeah. That place. Yeah. That was it. And I, and wherever I was, it came in and the box was there. And it suddenly twigged and went, oh, and he better just pull through. This is going to be my lungs. And then it opened it and there was a bit of shorty. Caramel <laughs> shorty in there. And I get what did they do. What was that well, excited? Well, oh. just just so we're aware here, and because I am the loving son that I am, there was three meringues in the box. And I got one. You got one, mum got one, and Shannon got one. So I never even got a meringue. So, so many bits you're of welcome. Sure, what did you get though? We kept one each. Okay. Kept one each. So you're welcome. That's the way it should have been. On that note, 
speaking of food, we're going to change it around a little bit and we're going to start the show with the, the Sliver World <laughs> with Stella sponsored <laughs> on this day. I can't really know going to Sliver World after speaking about cakes. Okay. Um, absolutely nothing happened on this day in terms of ice hockey. However, one important thing did happen on this day. And it's my wife's birthday. So, happy birthday to Mrs. Hill. She still happy feels birthday, weird when I say that. She still feels oh, weird. Get what, we'll just say happy birthday, Davies. Happy birthday, Davies. <laughs> um, yeah, but it is Shannon's birthday. Dinner will let her fool you. She is 32 now. Okay, she keeps saying she's not 32. She is 32 now. Yes. So, dinner will let her fool you. Um, so, that's the only thing that happened on this day. Shannon was born. In 1992. Moving on swiftly. The 51 Club sponsored game reviews. They're back. So we had two games first off in the the weekend against the unwashed friends from Fife the Flyers. And then we played UQTR on the Thursday and again on the Sunday. So start off with Fife. Senior, obviously you were not there. Nope, nope. Because you were watching some diving. I was indeed. I was the golf. Yeah. Was I, right? I, was, I was good. Great finish, I was, yeah. Oh, I was brilliant. <laughs> I was brilliant. Yeah, I had money on it to Happy days, Lydia Coat won it. Super. <laughs> <laughs> Get that going. Uh, no, and it's just the women, to me, I've always said the women's open's always better than the men's open, I think. Um, mm. I think it's a lot more relaxed. You're you're a lot closer to the players. There's more interaction between the players and the fans, believe it or not. So yeah, it was good. The only downside was we and Annie Avro, but hey ho, <laughs> <laughs> when she had but, to drive. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we had the five flyers and senior missed it. Um, listen, it was it was a it was an alright game. We we came out hard for a for a preseason game. Um, again. We said it in in the the preview the week before with uh, Andy Mack and Drunk Dean, which is going to be another call out come the UQTR game. But we'll get to that. Um, Shane Owen pretty much kept five in it. I think at times uh, they obviously pulled Shane at one nothing to give Brithen some nice time, and I think Brithen might want a bit maybe. Yeah, two of those goals back. I've seen, um, I've seen, the, I've seen the goals. Yeah. Especially the um, fourth. It oh, was the fourth. Oh, jeez, yeah, that was, that How was quite brutal. Eh? Um, and to be fair, I'm it's not like him, but there is. He always when he, when he played for us, there was always a daft one goal always got mm-hmm. past him. Um, but yeah, yeah, uh, there were wins. Eh? That was the main thing, and it's. It's probably no so much about the result, but probably more about the team gelling together, allows a coach to work on lines. Players are not here yet uh, for whatever reason. And you've just got to go and, and suck and see it and see what happens. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think for me, that game, um, Tong was outstanding. Um, Alberga, by the way, and we'll obviously we'll come on to your ones because we'll go through our yeah. thoughts on the team. But that game, Alberga was outstanding. Um Harms came in, still the wee dick he was when he left, which was great to see. Um but it was it was it was it was good to see them that you know with only a week of camp they, they had kind of started to gel. Um Fife were obviously missing a few boys. Johnny Curran uh still wasn't there. Um they had the, the Latal four. never played. Latal warmed up as well. That yeah, was the he thing. He warmed well, yeah. up and then he was standing stretching. He came and sat in fucking section C as well. Oh, I said to sheep, I went, listen, he also does he's also forgot that section C doesn't like him. Um <laughs> and I was hoping, I was so hoping somebody came up and said, Sorry, you're in my seat, mate. But you know, <laughs> I was absolutely raging. Um but listen, it was it was a it was a good first competitive game. Uh, guys looked like they started to gel. 
Um, and then it was also going to go back into Fife on the Sunday. Uh, came out with yet another win on the Sunday. But obviously the one downside was the injury to Gary Kelly. Now, yeah. I've heard numerous things from different fans, you know, Fifers and Stars fans of both are argued and disagreed that it was a bad hit. It was it was an unfortunate hit. There is a lot of Dundee fans though as well that were there that said that Gary's skate went from under him as the and they're saying it's probably a cross check because he does come in like that right across yeah. the name badge. But it's if he's standing up he probably just gets pushed into the boards. But because of when he's the way he's, his skates gave way, it's he's went in awkwardly. Now I know for a fact that Someone that listens to this podcast is going to message me as soon as this episode comes out. No, nah, it was the worst time I've ever seen in my life because that's exactly the words he messages when it happened. <laughs> um, I've not, I've not seen it because I don't think Fife put any. There's no, up. there's no footage of it at all. There's yeah. no, they, they had yeah. no webcast or anything. But it's unfortunate for the young guy eh? because you'd say that he played really well on. I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was absolutely and, brilliant. So yeah. it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. For the stars, but it's probably more unfortunate for him and and the Rockets because it was it was maybe an opportunity, sort of four games for Gary to maybe get Mark yeah. to really look at him and go, come on, this guy's got someone about him, um, yeah, and it might be worthwhile him staying with the stars more ra- rather than less. But I think I think this injury will knock him back now. Um, yeah. and he'll probably go back to the beginning again you'll probably need to get rehab whatever the injury is, I don't know uh, he'll start off again with the Rockets and then we'll see what yeah. happens with him yeah. yeah. He, um, he was walking about with sunglasses on in the rink on Thursday night so I didn't know if it was maybe a head injury just to take right. the glare away or whatever yeah. but, um, or it could just be neck injury and it's you know maybe the whole lot's just to a safety pre- safety precaution thing, but yeah, G- I thought Gary was absolutely outstanding on the Saturday in the ice time he got him and him and Johnny were brilliant. Um, mm-hmm. But again, it was it was it was two wins um, against your rivals pre season. You know, five still got about you know Stars fans think they've won everything. Listen, you always want to beat your rivals, no matter what game it is. Pre season. End of season exhibition, league game, playoff game, challenge cup, whatever. You still want to beat them. Listen, it's, um, it's, it's bragging rights more than anything else, right? Yeah. Let's let's be honest because if if Fife had beat Dundee, right, we'd have been saying exactly the same as him. It's only pre-season. What are you worried about? Yeah, it's only pre-season in five. Ah, but you were rivals. It's it's bragging rights yeah. more than anything else. But but they did play their backup for two games of like for two half games. Yeah, we played our back up for two full games, didn't we? <laughs> um, yeah. But so I'll, yeah, so I'll, two come wins. On, I'll come on to him when uh, when we're speaking about the UQTR games uh, and our thoughts on the team about yeah. Uh, so about Garrett. So yeah, so two wins, two wins against Fife uh, coming into the Thursday game, and obviously our uh, prediction for the university oh, oh, wow. team was wow. way off. Um, Miles, eh? considering it's... they beat. Yeah. Manchester and beat Nottingham. Uh, I can't remember what I said it to. It might have been, it might have been Nairn Bonner. I'd said it to. I probably said it to Hunty as well. Um, I was made to look like a right fool, was it not? Yeah, they're not a university team. They're no NCAA. We'll wipe them. They're professionals. We should wipe them. <laughs> Shut up. And then you see the the first game. Nottingham, they beat them. Manchester, they beat them. I'm sitting going, oh, right, okay. They'll be tired by the time they go, so we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Yeah, so um, so we did have them on the Thursday night, and uh, listen, it, it, it's I know that a certain someone messaged you saying it was all one way traffic, and um, when I messaged you, I don't think it was like the shots. I can't remember what I messaged you. I think the shots were like eight, someone's like eight, eighteen eight, four, four or something. something. Yeah. yeah, and it did. It did. You knew they'd had shots, so you knew that we hadn't taken that many. But it was more just, it didn't feel like it was just bang, 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 all the way down the ice at our end. We still had chances to break up. We cleared the zone and stuff. We were working on some things. It didn't feel 
the way that some people were making it out to be. But at the same time, the university deserved the win without a, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, you know, we didn't take the chances that we could have. It's, it's almost like we kind of went back to trying to walk the puck in the net again um, yeah. from years gone by. But um, I think it was Alberga that actually scored the breakaway goal that game. I think it was not at the penalty box <clears throat> on the break. Uh, what a finish, by the way. Um, but that university team are pretty decent. They're a pretty decent uh, team. And decent. I, I'd, oh, I'd pick some of them up next year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Junior, I'd pick some of them up this year. No. You know what I mean? But, because oh, no, there's there's a few of them who could probably make it in the elite league just now. Um, yeah. And I would, I would include their goalie. I thought their goalie yeah. on in the third on the, the Sunday game was fantastic. It was the same, just, I think it was the same boy. I think it was boy, boy. Lav, Lavalier. Yeah. However, however you pronounce it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So yeah. So on to the if we're going to the Thursday game. And yeah, no no end of the first, no no end of the second, no no end of the third. No, no, end of overtime, and then we get beat on penalties. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen better no nils. Put it that way. Um, a lot of people were saying it was really exciting no no game too. I don't again, Junior. I, I must yeah. admit, right? I, I I come away being slightly disappointed for some reason, and I don't know why. I just I expected more out the whole game. I expected yeah. ex- now they've been on they've been on a wee bottle of tour, right? So that was what their fifth game, fourth game, fifth, fifth. That was Something the fifth like one because they because they they lost the fifth the night before. Right. So fifth was yes. number four, uh, and then us. So I'm thinking, yeah, okay, they're they're a bit tired, and I expected us to really go them after getting bet on on the Thursday night, and and we did, but. It only started getting exciting near the end because it started to kick off. Again. And I don't know why why it happened or what happened. So all I remember was at the benches, and it's the old Scott Young, uh, which is named Faith Coventry, ruined the yep. bench, and but, uh, so it was like that, right? But it was Harams. Now, as Harams is skating off... It's like the guy says something up and Harams goes back at him. And then Harams bangs the plexi at him, right? Then the next hang, everybody's up, the coaches are up, and we look down, here's Lafave yeah. hanging across the plexi. They thought, yeah. oh, so this is really going to get get back exciting. And then when you listen to the comments with the interviews, the guy wasn't too happy. He was, he was on about cheap shots. Now, Ed didn't say a lot of cheap shots. I think... There was one thing that happened during the game. There was a hit behind the goal on Dryden, right? Mm-hmm. It was a late hit, and it didn't get called. So I think Dryden thought, right, I'm going to give this guy a fucking slash on the wet pass. But he slashed him that low that he took the skates off him. The boys then fell, but then the boys banged his head. And I think that's where the five-plus gamers came from. It's no came for mm-hmm. the slash, because that happens every week. During games, who Boys called it? Pavel. Fairly pause up. It was Pavel that called it. Pavel loves Pavel. to kick a boy out. Fucking give him a chance, yeah. he'll kick him out. Yeah, and I, I honestly think he called it because the guys fell. Now he's fell. He still had his helmet on, right? But it'd still be still quite sick. Um, and I don't think they've called it based on the injury, not based on the penalty. However, going back again, if they called the hat. Then that slash doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. And I think Dryden was a bit pissed off at that, you know? Yeah. Uh, but again, I was the way the way everybody, because I hadn't seen the stars, so everybody spoke, I probably expected more than what I saw. But again, if you look at it, they've been training, they've been playing games, and, and they've probably been getting it tough for Mark since they've all got here. And they do have to gel. Elmer missed it. I think he took on well during the warm up, or he was on well and then thought during the warm up. No. Nope. Then what then happens is the lines are change again. 
because some of the lines that happened, I don't think will ever happen during the game, an elite league game that mm. is. Uh, but when we get on about about the team, then I've got my own thoughts because there's there is a couple of players that I really like. Yeah, but going back to the Thursday game, um, I said that I, I said it to you that that was going to carry over into into the Sunday game because Harms was absolutely raging at boys on that bench. Like there was a few times yeah. he he offered a couple of guys and they wouldn't take it. Then yeah. somebody else bigger came in and Harms was like, "I'm not going to go with you, am I?" Like yeah. says he, yeah. um, because there was Alberga, someone else. Yeah, Alberga there was, was someone go else happened. So believe it or not, Tonj went after a boy. Yeah. Um, at the Sunday game, and what had happened was they were skating, the university was skating down the ice. They went to dump it in, and as the boy dumped it in, he just elbowed Tonj right in the head. Yep. And he went after him. But what I liked was they were on. I was in them. Um, right, we're in. We're all going. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Which was, that's... and if you think about it though, that was the biggest line that was on the ice at the time. Tonj is like. I think it was someone like Tonj. I'm going to say maybe Sekos, maybe. Um, and potentially Harms. Yeah. But uh, so I don't know. It took a while for it to get going, put it that way. Uh, but yeah, it was just I was a wee bit disappointed. I, I thought I'd have seen more. I probably expected more goals, and we just didn't get it. Yeah. yeah. But like what you said. If it's one of those things where we need to start taking more chances instead of trying to create the perfect goal. Yeah, yeah. Um, the good thing is, so there's a lot. There is does seem to be a lot of fight about it. Um, considering mm -hmm. that Pouliot had a couple of pals on that team. Um, big Big Poo is uh, he was yeah. fucking steamrolling boys on Thursday anyway. Then about Sunday, but he was steamrolling boys. Um, uh, he, he was he was looking for he was looking for a big hat every every now and then. I don't know who yeah. he's friends with, but he always seemed to be mixing with the guys at Ule or Ulet. He was yeah. always uh, I don't care if that was his mate or not, but yeah, there was someone always seems to happen. Pooley was beside him. Yeah. But, um. Yeah. One shout out for me from the Thursday game um, was also Josh Saunders playing. Um, so the local laddy Faye Kirkcaldy. Um, so the Kestrels, he had quite a few shifts. Um, I'm pretty sure he was on with, I think he was on with Dryden every time as well. Um, and absolutely held his own. Good. Um, he, he looks really solid, fundamentally good stay at home D man. I think he, you know, we spoke about when, when Andy was on, you know, the feedback I got from um, a Pfeiffer that's, that's watched him come through the youth development. Had said that that he probably is the best prospect, um, yeah. better than some of the guys that are being touted as the bigger prospects. Yeah. I think we have picked up an absolute gem with him, and hopefully, you know, he does get some nice time this year at, at opportunities, and you know, we, we can hopefully keep on to him if he keeps progressing the way he's progressing. Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, Moodsy played D on Sunday, so that that basically covered the six of them at the back. Yeah. So it probably made sense for for Josh not to get dressed uh, for just yeah. sitting on the bench. So, but it's it's good to hear that Gary's Gary played well. Unfortunately, he got injured, and then Josh has started to sort of make himself yeah. known to the fans. So yeah, yeah, just bright. Yeah. So we've had the preseason now. Uh, we'll come into our our previews of the games at the weekend. But senior, we're going to go over. Uh, Jerry's final thought here on your thoughts on the team. Jerry, Jerry. Uh, final thoughts on the team. Um, I like the goalie. I thought Big Fisk played really well on the Sunday game. And from all accounts, he played really well in the other three games before that. Uh, I see there's a debate on the supporters page. Well, when Sabo comes in, he's the number one. He gets a jersey for me. No, he doesn't. Right. Twofold, he doesn't get the jersey. He's not here yet. Right. So he doesn't know anybody. And then why would you go and throw him in? Potentially without training. So this weekend, if Sabo does get here, to me, Fisk plays 
the Giants game. And depending on how we get on against the Giants, will then depend on who plays on the Sunday. Because if we get an absolute doing for the Giants, then why not? It's Key Jarrett in the night off. He's played four preseason plus a game against the Giants, then put Sabo on and see what happens against the clan. However, if Fisk plays well against Giants, if it's me, I keep him in on the Sunday. And then we then start from the start of the week. If Savo's here, then we get them into training and then it becomes a decision for Mark what he then wants to do. But Fisk, for me, I've, I've been pleasantly surprised. He, he seems unflappable. He seems very calm. Um, and what I like about him, he's a big guy, but he scrambles like fuck. He gives up nothing. He fights for everything. Pucks on the deck, he's in amongst it. So for a net-minded perspective, I think, I think we'll want this a wee gem or a big gem, in Jarrett's case, to be honest with you. There's there's one thing I, I agree with the majority of what you've said. Um, there, there's one thing for me, and I and I'm and I'm thinking it's poss it's possibly down to the bigger ice pad and angles. Um, but certainly in the first five game, and then coming into the first university game, was his rebound control. It was very much reminiscent of uh, what was his face, Svensson, that. Stop the puck, but not hitting it away, or right. like leg pad. Yeah, save, I, I can't understand. Hitting it like, away, it's stopping dead. It's there, yeah. but there's there's a fife boy there. Roof yeah. it. Go. Uh, have you have you think about what Kevin Carr used to do? Kevin Carr used to angle his stick. Yes, and hit the net every single time. Uh, yeah, just stopped again. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I was like a couple of times. I'm like, okay. Um. But very good shot stopper. Yeah. Uh, initially, though, I thought, okay, very good shot stop, but if you can get that rebound control, absolutely, yeah. we've, we've, we've got a decent goalie. Um, but like you say, it's Wednesday night, we're recording this. As of right now, we don't know if Sabal is here because they've not tweeted anything, yeah. but we did see the message today that Big Ben is here. Big Ben's here. I'm fucking buzzing for Saturday yeah. to see that big sexy bastard. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, Daisy. Big, big Ben's here. <laughs> uh, which, to be honest, I, you know what I thought? I thought the decor played. They played okay. He's going to be uh, shite now, is he? I can't. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to get the blame for that ever. Yeah. Uh, I thought the decor played okay in the game that I seen. Between them and the goalie, they got a shot out, so they must have done something okay. Um, but I think Ben takes that to, to a different level. I really do. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm really, really looking forward to seeing O'Connor in a, in a Stars jersey. Really. Yeah. Even that power play, the, the power play looked really good. Um, okay, we didn't we didn't score on it in that first university game, obviously, even the second one. Don't know what it was like yeah. in the, if we had many power plays. Instead. Certainly the first game had a few power plays. The puck movement was very good. Very, yeah. very good. couple of shots from the point. You stick big O'Connor on that fucking blue line. There's going That's to be it. rockets flying in from there. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, um, as I said, the big couple of standouts for me straight away um, was Alex Tong and uh, God, his name's right at my head now. You said Alberga. Alberga. Oh, Dominic Alberga. What a player. What an absolute so, pucker that boy is. I really like him. So on, on Sunday, I thought he was quiet, right? And that was possibly because he was of the way the lines ended up being set up. So yeah. on Sunday, we had uh, Yamamoto, Gravel, and O'Brien as the centre. Mm -hmm. uh, we then had Tonge, Sekos, and Harms. And then we had Alberga with Johnny and Craig Garrigan. And, the, the, and they were, they were, come on, they, they were, they weren't just there to shut down because they, they did have a few chances. Johnny had mm -hmm. a few, good, a good, few good chances, by the way. I thought he played really well on Sunday, McBean. Yeah. Um. And I think, and I can understand why Mark done that. He's probably wanting to see. Well, let's see how young O'Brien gets on with mm -hmm. Yamamoto and Gravel. We know that 
Alberga could play probably on any line. He'll just slot in. But the one that, and I'm just going to say one this now, that really impressed me on Sunday was Segos. Mm. I thought he was outstanding. I thought he was rapid, absolutely rapid. And you can see yeah. up there, he's, 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 he's minding Brent's going all the time. Yeah. I was really impressed with Segos. Yeah. I think uh, defensively, overall, um, I think, you know, we do look a bit more offensive, an offensive defensive unit this year for me. You've got you've got Dryden, you've got O'Connor, even Cole McDonald. See that boy's hands, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, he, he he's got some skill on him. He looked tired on Sunday. McDonald, I thought. Okay. I thought he looked a bit. I thought he looked. He looked a bit leggy. Um, but he's definitely got someone about him. He's, yeah. He, he is a very, very good player. Yeah. But I, I agree with you. I think we look more of an offensive, defensive team. Um, yeah. Because you've got those three that you mentioned. Kyle Pouncey sort of sits on the fence, does he? He no, sort of he can be offensive or he can be defensive. And then you've, see, got, you've got the Bash brothers, eh? Pulley on Ingalls. See, on Thursday, I forgot Pouncey was even playing. He came to the third period and went, fuck, Kyle Pouncey's back this year, is he? He just went about and did his thing and I didn't even notice him. Like, he didn't yeah. do him wrong. didn't do him flashy. I just thought, no. fuck Kyle. Yeah. Because you've got, um, like you say, you've got Pulley knocking boys for shit. You've got Dryden doing Captain Fantastic things. You've got Cole McDonald skating about there doing God knows what with the puck on that stick, like, can puck on a string at times. Yeah. Kyle was just skating about doing his job. Like, I totally yeah. forgot he was there. Um, so the the lines, now that now that Ben's here, the lines are, they're going to be, they're going to be interesting now that, that yeah. Ben's here, you know. Uh, like, does, does Mark still stick with Dryden and Kyle? Or does he split them up? Uh, does he put, does he leave them together? Then you're then then looking at Cole McDonald and Ben, and then Pulliot and Ingalls. I could see Pulliot being put with O'Connor. So could I. Yeah, that's yeah. where I think it's going to go. But yeah, what, um, what, I, what I do think will happen then, if that does happen, then I then think Kyle will then go with Ingalls because I think McDonald will go with yes. with Ryan. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Okay, well, but overall, uh, um, yeah. I think we look like a solid, solid team. I yeah. did the Elite League predictor um, for the competition okay. to try and win your right. playoff final All weekend right. tickets. Yeah, what did, where so did you have us? I had us seven. I had eight. <laughs> I had us seven, and I fucking hate to say it, but looking at how their preseason has went. I had clan finishing fourth. I think I had I had Sheffield. Yep. Belfast. Um, Sheffield, Belfast, Cardiff. Cardiff. Yep. And then Guildford, then the clan. So I think I had clan, Guildford, Blaze. Not I think that then comes to us. Really? You'll be not an um Fife Manchester. Did you? Ed Blaze yeah. finishing bottom. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I don't... I, oh, yeah. fuck, I forgot Danny's not there now. Yeah. But, you know what? It's... Yeah, I don't know until you see them. No, well, that's it. Get on what? And, and, on, and on the night, it's a certain bunch of boys playing against a different set of boys. Yeah. And anything could, anything could happen, right? Yeah. What I will probably say, and I'll know we're doing well, that both games this weekend will be underdogs in both games. Yeah. 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 Especially the way especially now listen, let's forget about clan playing Solway, but the results in Germany show they're a decent side this year, clan, right? They're 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 no the clan of last year while they were shouting about how massive they were. This year they are massive, but it's in height. They are a big, big team this year. But they and, can motor. And they've got a massive fucking budget. Yeah. Oh yeah. With with a with a massive Yeah. Head coach, 
Yeah. And listen, Junior, it'll be if they don't win something this year, right? Oh, that'll be a bad it. season for them. Yeah. It will be. Them to, 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 for them to turn around and say, Oh, we finished in the top four. Yeah, but you won fuck all. We yeah. finished eighth. And guess what? We won fuck all. Nah. Hey, hey. So it doesn't matter yeah. for them. I think this year they'll need to win something. No, they absolutely do, especially with the uh, Premier Sports being their title sponsor. Yeah, it's Premier Sports, yes. <laughs> so, yeah. let's look at this weekend. So, it is time for the Liam Mean Tattoo sponsored game preview. Firstly, the Belfast Giants on Saturday. Senior, it's the return of the man himself, JJ Pickenich. Oh, I don't know about that. I yeah. thought you were going to want to say Elijah Barriga. No, no. JJ's back. Yeah, um, one of our favourite players from yeah. that season, although against Always us. Back. Um, but Don, just wait. wait. Oh, so yeah. we're looking forward to seeing him. But obviously, Toby Craig has somebody that he's looking forward to seeing, and that oh, is Scott Conway. Scott Conway and I yeah. hope it's Toby Reffin on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, listen, you, you know what the Elite League are going to do? They're going to send up two English referees. Oh, it'll be fucking dull. <laughs> it'll be something like that. Listen, it's Belfast, so the chances are it might be Dalton. Mm-hmm. Uh, He'll travel up with him on the fucking plane. Yeah. it's. Uh, I've always said that, right? See when you're playing against teams like that. Get them at the start of the season. Yeah. Uh, and I know it's Challenge Cup. It's for much. us. I know. I know. But <laughs> we kind of keep saying, yeah, we treat it like pre-season. Nah. Mark's, Mark's talking about, and the players were talking about during their press releases, they were looking for championships, right? Now, the championship, in my opinion, is not going to be winning the league. It might be, if we get to the final four, we might yeah. get a wee break and win it but winning the Challenge Cup. Mm. I think for this year, we need to really throw everything at the Challenge Cup. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, we, listen, we couldn't get a hard enough start. Well, we could. We, can get, we could have had the two of them away but instead of getting them at home. But, or we could yeah. have Belfast Sheffield away. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, um, yeah, JJ Pickett. It's going to be, it's going to be really tough. Yeah. Um, I think... I'm going to actually go out on a limb here and say this. I actually think they have upgraded their net-minding situation. Um, so, obviously, Besco retired for, what, yeah. the fourth time now? Uh, um, so, Tom, McC- Tom McCollum, um, first-round draft pick in 2008 from the Detroit Red Wings. Listen to who he was drafted over. Okay, go on then. He was drafted over Jake Allen. Yeah, he's better than him. He was drafted before Markstrom. Okay. And he was also drafted before Braden Holtby. Yeah, crazy, yeah. And it's just the breaks that you get in hockey, is it? Yeah. Drafted over Besko himself. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> it's just, it's it just the breaks that you get, isn't it? Um, yeah. He's 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 been drafted before are they boys? Besco's ended up in Europe, started yeah. in Edinburgh, if I'm right. And yet the other three have ended up in the NHL. Yeah. So yeah. McCollum McCollum did play three games in the NHL and three hundred and twenty two in the AHL. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I I generally do think it is an upgrade um on Besco and Besco's shit hot. Um, wow. But I generally think this boy's going to be an upgrade. So I am actually really looking forward to seeing how good a goalie he is on Saturday. Hopefully not too yes. well against us, but... But has he, has he played in Dundee on a wet Saturday night? Has he played in Dundee on a wet Saturday night? That's a good question. That's it. Um, yeah. Obviously, Bariga's back. Bariga obviously didn't play against us in Dundee last year due to his injury. Um, so he's back. Zach... Galambos, he's out injured, so they've went and replaced yeah. him already, I believe, with the yeah, they have, the rules. Uh, yeah. Um, and Kyle Osterberg from Fife, I'll say Fife. Yeah. He's potentially injured as well after a hit um in the same game that Galambos was also right. injured. 
um, but nobody knows how Osterberg is. So potentially another boy out, and I, to be fair, if, if he is out, it's a bonus for us because Osterberg used to love a goal against us last season. Yeah. I get, listen, he, Osterberg's a good player, but he is a very good player. We've seen how good he, he was when he played for us. Um, and he's went to a better team than us, let's be honest. Right? So it'll be interesting to see how Bariga fits in now, especially yeah. when you've got guys like Conway and Pickenich playing there. Yeah. If we ha- Listen, you remember Bariga, if he got hit by somebody, oh, he uh. was gone. He was out of the game. Yep. So, pull it up. Listen, first first junior, shift. Belfast. Belfast didn't like getting hit. No. That, that's the thing about Fel- Belfast. They don't like it. Um. And if if we're going to win, if we're going to be in amongst games like that, we've got to, we've just got to be dicks, eh? And just mm-hmm. get in amongst them and yeah. see what happens and take our chances when they come along. You can yeah. get outshot every single game. Just yeah. take your chances off. Yeah. Uh, so speaking of dicks, uh, we've got the clan on Sunday. Yeah. No Charlie Combs after he uh, signed his two year another extend a year extension to go a two year contract and then said, "Of Vida yeah. Sen, of Vida Sen, yeah." So no Charlie Combs. However, there is the return of uh, and he's not getting his nickname now because he's a dick. Uh, Lucas Brown and Chris Mackay. Strange one. Mackay yes. going there. Uh, Brian, I could understand, probably tapped up by Nielsen at GB camps, uh, and money will talk for him. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? If that's, if that's what he's done, that's what he's done. Eh? Uh, yeah. he's 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 went with the GB squad, he's played in some friendlies for GB, but he'll probably sit on his ass in Glasgow. Yeah, so if that's if that's what he wants, then then yeah. That's what you'll get. Uh, but Mackay was a very strange one. Yeah. Very strange one. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see yeah. to see how he plays against us. Because last year, how many times did we keep saying, fuck it, i And he didn't do it. Yeah. And when you he know? did, he was getting major penalties for it all the time. So it'll yeah. be interesting uh, to see if it was a Dundee player or if it was the actual player. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, but, but obviously... It's going Landon, to be tough again, Junior. Eh? It's yeah, going to be Landon Bo is yeah. their goalie. Uh, 140 games in the AHL. And then the big announcement this week, well, from the weekend, was the return of Gary Hayden. Yeah. Now, what, what I find quite funny about Gary Hayden going back, right? See, when he left... There was a few of them fucking delighted he left. Yeah. Now, you can't have any wee group chat, we call him and, and Billy, right? Ever sign Gary Hayden at the draft of a heart. Did I care how fucking lazy he is? Don't care about his plus minus, but the boy could put the puck in the net. Yeah. Right. Um, probably a bit like Ryan Valentini, but not as fast, right? Because Valley's plus minus, I don't think was very good last season either. Plus uh, minus, that's pish. Exactly, right? However, when Hayden left, and it's probably the right thing to do, he's a lazy fucker. Look at his plus minus. Yeah. Minus 54 or something. Worst in the fucking league. Uh, we'll get better than that. Oh, the Messiah's back. Yeah. You're like, like, wait a minute, mark your mind up here. You were, yeah. you were delighted to see him go, but you're delighted to see him back. Yeah. yeah. If, if I was a clan fan, I would not have wanted him to go, and I'd be one of the ones that were delighted to see him back. Yeah, at the game at the weekend, I seen the the sort of the lineup, right? They had Gary Hayden playing third line. Mm. Gary Hayden's no third line player because Gary Hayden no. cannot play that third line role. But it might just be to get um back into the swing of things, and then they'll get maybe. the line sorted. Maybe, um, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Some of them, some of the clan fans, I, I think clan might be running an excellent import now, and they're saying that he might be the one that get has to to sit out. He might be the healthy scratch. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. No. But, uh, right, okay. Senior. Prediction First time. one of the season. Score predictions. Giants on Saturday. Uh, 
Four two Giants. Oh, I've just wrote four two Giants empty net goal. Well, I'll go four two Giants without yep. an empty net goal. <laughs> oh, no empty net goal. Nope. Clan no. game on Sunday. Yeah. Um, three, two, and overtime. Clan. Okay. I've actually went three, two stars just to try and be optimistic for once for the start of the season. Uh, it's, yeah. Um, well, come on, I'm, just, I'm just basing it on on what I've seen of the other teams compared to seeing one game that, that I've seen of the stars. Yeah. Well, that's our predictions, but now it's time for your predictions. So, our wonderful, amazing title sponsor, Don Michele, has provided yet another gift voucher for competition time. £25 voucher for the winner. And it is going to be who scored first. So we're going to open it up for both the games because Saturday we might not get a goal scorer. And then if we didn't get one on Sunday, nobody wins. And me and Shannon get to use it because it's Shannon's birthday today. So I hope you, I hope we didn't score any goals. <laughs> Senior, you can come as well. That's okay. Um, I'm all for that. So it's yeah, the first, it's first Stars goal scorer. First Stars goal scorer of the new of, season. Of the new season. Um, what we'll do is we'll put a post up. Now, last season we had issues of the fake pages Someone actually created a fake of you from Section C page. Imagine doing that. Imagine recreating a page for a wee shitty podcast with Dundee on ice hockey. We are massive. Saddles. Um, so we'll try and word it so that nobody gets it. Listen, if anybody comments on your post to say that you've won or whatever, put your details in here. Do not listen to it. Do not trust it. Do not click the links. I will announce the winner. Um, I'll do a Facebook Live or, or I'll post it myself um, and I'll get in touch with the winner directly um, through my personal page. Okay, So we'll put a post up. If you comment on the post, you've got to like the post and comment on it. Who your Stars goal scorer is, the first Stars goal scorer of the season. Nagel Sunday, we'll roll it over to, uh, on Saturday, we'll roll it over on a Sunday night for you. All right. Happy senior. Delighted. Delighted, especially if it's nil nil both games. But uh that is our episode for this week. Um Shannon has ordered the Chinese in for her birthday tea. Just got the message to say it's ordered. Yes, obviously. Right. Honest to God, man, it's a family sport. Just that's awesome. Just asking. So I might even get a Chinese. Um, also, so, oh, we're gonna, we're, no, we're going to organise something for next week for senior versus the fans. Indeed, we are. So if you would like to be on next week's show, and we'll need to confirm a day and a time with you. Yeah. But if you would want to be on it, um, drop myself. Uh, a message on either the my personal Twitter page, sorry, X, my personal Twitter page or my personal Facebook, or on the View from Section C Twitter or Facebook page as well. Um, and I'll I'll get back to you if we get an influx. Then obviously I'll just pick somebody at random to do it, and we'll start creating a wee pecking list on who's going to go up against Senior because yeah. it's currently. One nil to the fans. That's because it was two fans. Did I start? Oh, yeah. Here we go again. Listen, folks, enjoy the rest of your week. <laughs> and we will see you on Saturday and then again on Sunday. <laughs>